Welcome to this video presentation on the Surpresa Area Gold Prospect. Trench 31 is constructed over auger drill holes 822 to 824. We discuss a physical examination of the trench. I want to see the There's one contact. Okay. And we're dipping that way. Yeah. That's the edge of another one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, a different unit. Yep. Comes through there, totally decomposed. Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, that's a nice looking piece. I'd say it's been a, uh, an altered breccia with a very high sulphide content, ten uh, percent or so. Right. Okay. That's good. Um, the whole thing looks like a breccia. You've just got chunks of rock, almost, almost not gravel, but I mean, it's got pieces and stuff that look like debris, even though it's bedrock, just completely shattered. And, and overprinted with mineralisation. Mm. So I would, I would suggest a, a, a highly dynamic fault zone with brecciation and introduced mineralisation. And this is where we got the uh, result. Two point six gram. Yeah, the auger hole went down into there and gave two point six as a vertical sample at an arbitrary spot. So that's got continuity. It's got a contact down there. Strange clay channels. This is one of those areas mm -hmm. that um, an early diamond drill hole could could really um, pay for itself in terms of just advancing the knowledge of what you're doing, yep. joining it up to other things. And, I mean, like other models. And yes, yes, yes. Styles of mineralisation. That is so amazingly decomposed. And for what it's worth, that is amazingly heap leachable. That yeah. is just so crumbly and porous. Yes. Like there's nothing massive in this. Yep. If you were looking for a yep. heat leach ore, that would make you drool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting to see the extent. Well, this is a small window on it, isn't it? Yeah. So just look at how open that is. There's no glassy solicitation through it yep. to, to lock the gold into the so that would break up a lot easier coal for oh, it'd, when you it'd crush, yep. almost crush itself. Yep. But in the cyanide leach, the yep. um, cyanide penetration into that style of rock would be complete. Even if you didn't crush it, you'd probably mm. get most of it out. Clay's not so much fun. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's only a small zone there. Yeah, and it, it may, that may well go into a, um, a, a, an unstable rock type as you go down a little bit. So it is a good result. Yeah, it is a good result. Well, for a start, you haven't got a an auger hole hitting a skinny zone. No, <laughs> no, no, that's right. Um, we're getting that breadth in the right back here. So it's really very extensive in a horizontal sense. Well, a cross strike then. Yeah, yep. That patch there is as good as anything up there. And it's this orange older rope is it's just sort of webbing through the thread oh. here. Yep. I suspect the orange is garrotide after some time. Once the trench has been physically reviewed, it will be mapped, then sampled. The samples will be taken in one metre intervals across the entire 13 metre section of the trench. Each one metre interval will yield approximately 25 kilos of bulk sample. This will then be thoroughly mixed and quartered and subsampled to yield uh, a sample that will be sent to an independent laboratory for a fire assay gold result.